back at the cult. So, the followers are starving, but they've been inspired by the Last Crusade. Let's make some meals as uh, we go for the grassy gruel. All done. Alright. And of course, there's sickness because, yeah. Followers are dying, dropping like flies. I think last time I was playing, I uh, was asking about what makes it. Uh, why would you want to do burials rather than. Why would you want to do harvest rather than burials, right? Because burials are just better overall. And it's because you might literally not have the room for them. Folklore, actually, no, not you. Uh, we need to send you to the healing bay. Folklore. Huh. Ta da! Alright. Hello. Jolty, convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Okay. Choose robes. Ah, okay. So you can have red robes. Tattered black robes, blue robe with a belt, and a waistcoat. Well, I kind of like the red look, actually. And then flower necklace, feather necklace, nature's necklace, moon necklace. Well, you are a brand new follower, so why not do bonus resources? And then form... Actually, I've, I like you having, having the worm. Standard worm color. Choose variant. Oh, interesting. No, just standard. Traits. You are sickly, but you are also gullible and zealous. Ah. And then uh, let's go to stone. Ah. Ah. So you are a germaphobe, but you have strong constitution. And again, let's do robes, and you will generate devotion. And that is going to be your task straight away, is to worship. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have enough beds for everyone. Yeah, because they keep dying. Let's see this. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I don't need to pick the cotton myself. I'll get uh, one of my followers to do it. Uh, let's get... Who should I do it? Majul? Majul. Yeah. Work. Oh, there's no, no tasks available? Interesting. Inspiration unlocked. What shall we get? Well, apparently I can't get the drink house. Oh no, I could! Okay, fine. So, mating tent invites two followers to decide if they wish to make an egg together. Cost sin also unlocks the hatchery. The drum circle, perform at the drum circle and let the rhythmic beats tempt the faithful, generate sin. Or the drink house, brew drinks for your followers to generate sin. Let's do the mating tent. to actually build the mating tent. So the mating tent... What would it be? Hmm. Is it faith? Offering statue? Ah, here we go. Right, so we need consecrated lumber. No, we need gold bars. Wow, we need lots of gold bars. So, gold bars! Consecration? Refining. Yes, refine. Da -da. Oh, right. Gold bars are the fuel for the propaganda speakers. Sure. 
So, how many did I need for the sim? 16. Okay, so I need 8 blocks. Right, I can re-educate you because... Well, you're there. I have to admit though, Alvarim, uh, the first chance I get, you're getting sacrificed. A sermon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I've only got nine followers at the moment. Let's keep on top of that. Anything of use. 75? Yeah. And again, we're bringing back people that are high level. Reaper! I am assuming that it's the best thing to do is to bring back your high level followers because why not, right? The highest level, they give you the best output for how much loyalty they have. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. I think the fleece worked out fine as well in that I didn't need to worry too much about not having as many tarot cards because it does seem like four is the amount that you get. So. Alright. Uh, what am I wanting to do? I think everything's okay. Receive a gold bar. Consecrate. Do another gold bar. Right. Interact. Uh, no, not that. Work. Refine. I'm kind of surprised they're not doing it automatically. Oh, is that the last of the stone mine? Rainbow fertilizer? Normal fertilizer? What should I make next? Faith stuff. So, make infinite of those. Lumber is what I need. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Lumber yard too? No, lumber is what I, I'm doing, so I'm going to do this one. That's kind of annoying that it's kind of out of range unless I do it in a weird, awkward pattern. So I'm going to do it here, I think. And I'll make a stone mine next to it. Oh, I just want to move it. There we go. Just want to move one. Alright, I have run out of gold coins. So, because we run out of gold coins, let's go ahead and go to Midas's Grove. Uh, Midas's Cave. To Midas's Cave. And hopefully, this will be a, a way to get tons and tons of gold. Midas's Cave. Welcome, welcome. Look, everyone, we have a visitor. Oh, stop laughing. Our guest may not look my, like much, but fortune favours the gold. I mean bold. My dear new friend, Midas's Cave serves a certain class of clientele. If you can meet those standards, welcome. If not, please look around. You're my guest here. I will leave you to peruse. If you have any questions, Midas is here to help. So, what's the deal with everyone here? Now, I'm sure great leaders such as yourself get plenty of devotion from your followers for free, but surely a visionary like you could always use more. We can offer you our devotion for a great price. The price goes up the more you want it, and down the longer you leave it. The question really is how long can you resist? Uh, kind of... 10 devotion for a coin? I suppose it's not too bad of a conversion, right? But the tarot cards, they cost gold bars. Okay. Uh, the deal. The deal is done. 
Okay, so let's read them. So, Icor earned. Who dares draw the blood of gods? Drop black Icor on hit. The deal. The deal is done, but at what cost? When killed, resurrect with a heart. The burning dead. Service even in death. Dead enemies explode, damaging other enemies. And godly moment. Taste for a moment's sanctitude. Begin each room with a brief moment of invincibility. Well, I think resurrection makes sense. And yeah, is this one of the... Oh no, it's not one of the uh, unique ones. Did that cost 10? Huh. I only thought it only cost 5, but oh well, never mind. Uh, Alright, what's up here? Sacrifice follower for gold? Ooh. And then there's more... Alright, so I'm trading gold bars for these, and that's probably not great trade-off. But I guess it depends on how much gold a follower gives. It'll depend on the level, won't it? Follower cannot be resurrected. Oh. Follower is imprisoned. Uh, okay. What do they mean by cannot be resurrected? Let's do level. So the lowest level is Habarim. But, hmm. I don't know. Bregreno is sick? Sorry, Bregreno, you're sick. We'll see how much it gives. He's level 3. Wonderful, wonderful, yes, much better. I have a few more of these if you are willing to help me grow my collection. Oh, it's a piece of the... Yeah, okay. So not gold! Which is kind of why I wanted to do that. So, I guess we're not doing that anymore. Okay, I was kind of expecting the ability to get gold from Midas, but I guess that was kind of naive, considering what Midas' deal appears to be, which is, you give me gold and I'll give you stuff. This is where we trust our precious gold to the gods. Sometimes in their benevolence they give back more, other times it's a loss. But it's not for us mere mortals to question, present company excluded, of course. But for the use of such a service, the organization would require, let's call it a donation, for someone of your talents, let's, shall we say, 10 gold bars. Okay, well, I already spent it on the tarot card, so... Hmm. Alright, I guess that's it for now from Midas' cave. Back to the cult. Yeah, the exchange rate on the tarot card and the gold bars doesn't seem proportionate to what I was spending on the other tarot cards. It might be, like... 10 gold bars or 5 gold bars could, could be the equivalent to like 50 coins or 40. So. Alright. So. Sickness. Well, let's get all the upgrades and stuff. Greed beyond measure. Pay minus 10 gold bars. The. No? I thought there was sick behind that. Just two. Yeah. Hmm. Golden poo? Or rainbow poo, rather? So what's this one, then? Devoted fertilizer. Alright. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to pick the the seeds myself because um I don't have the building that would let a follower do it actually. That's the important thing. How much would that cost? Because I have the stone and the, the wood. Uh what is it? Is it this one? Seed silo. Farmer station. Uh no, I want them to be able to pick them. 
I guess I have to unlock that with Divine Inspiration. Alright, Missionary! Uh, again, I'm, I'm lacking in gold, so 85, 87, 82... Yeah, let's do the 87, even though that was the same percentage I had last time, and it failed. Take a confession. Let's see. Valifar? Yeah. <laughs> right. Did someone die of old age? I could have sworn someone did. Hang on. Is one of those body pits empty? Yeah, there's no body thing there, so... Okay. Right. What am I missing? I'm low on... Hunger. Uh, what's this? A bowl of poo. Oh, blood. No point doing that. Yeah, grassy poo. The other thing that's a benefit of doing grassy gruel is that you can just make tons of it and it'll stay around for whenever they actually get hungry. Faith is a little low, but that's okay. Divine Inspiration. Alright, what am I making next? To unlock the tailor, I guess? Create outfits for followers to keep them stylish. So, go to this. Tailor cost gold bars. Okay, yeah. Just need lots of gold bars. And for gold bars, I need coins. Or gold nuggets. Okay. And then. Sermon for everyone. Might of the Devout. Starting level of weapons increased. Ta da! Alright. Ooh, that's nice. So, crown. Sacred Enlightenment. Sin! To invite belief, must we also invite sin? Doctrinal extremists choose to generate sin for the confession booth instead of loyalty. Or chance of sin appearing as a reward from mini bosses. Okay. Can I make multiple confession booths though? Hmm. Because if it was a 100% chance of generating sin as a reward for mini bosses, then this would be great. But otherwise, eh, I'm not I'm not big on just chances to do stuff. So let's do this. It's a choice. I can do it. And it's kind of the whole point of a confession booth anyway is to confess sins. So All right. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? <laughs> Ritual Ascension? The thing is, I don't really have that many followers to begin. So, yeah. I need more followers for before doing anything drastic like that. Uh, should I do this though? 
suppose I could. And what I will do is I will do by level and I will choose Reaper as the highest level. Actually, does it make a difference based on... Oh, interesting. Well, let's do Folklore again then. I'm wondering whether it compounds the sin because I chose them first. Temple, yeah. No point looking at upgrades for the temple yet. And this is just to get rid of the, the exclamation mark here. So, let's go and find out can I make more than one confession booth? Uh, janitor station, prison, da, 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 da. or is it faith? No, it's faith generation. Um, hmm. I guess not. I guess I can only make one confession booth. Yeah, it's only built once. Alright. Well, in that case, can I do confession again? No, I've already taken confession today. That does make sense. Okay, so we're full on faith, we're full on uh, medicine. Uh, can I re-educate you? Yes. Alright, Habarim, you are now free. You are ready to be uh, a member of the team. You've stopped dissenting. Release. Now, uh, hmm, summon demon? So, Habarim? Better health drops? Let's go. I'm tired of Habarim being uh, terrified of death. So, being converted into a demon is great. Okay. So... Well, I guess I'll leave that for the next crusade to Silk Cradle. Off we go again. I can't afford you. I'm sorry. Back to Silk Cradle. <laughs> 